Yeah, like I said, I said that earlier, uh, Ash was like, well, if it goes on sale, maybe. I would maybe buy it on sale. Back to Hyrule Warriors. I have a couple uh, things on the Switch, like a couple video uh, clips I took I want to show y'all when I get there. I'll probably play Rain World on the Switch, too, when I get to that. that that's next month, Steph. Alright, let me get the PS4 unhooked and get the Switch hooked. <laughs> Then we'll pop on over that, and I'll do a little announcement, and then we'll get going. So we're just going to chill here for a couple minutes. If y'all don't mind. Let's turn the switch controller on. Let me switch my TV over. Oh yeah, I also installed the down the demo here before I figured out how to get this how to get the uh PS4 one. I don't really need this one, so we're just going to delete that. What's on the news? Games with demos. <laughs> Oh, you mean like Battle and Wonderworld? Oh yeah, I probably got to put the cartridge in first too. Let me do that, and then I will announce the stream for everybody. <laughs> Die demo. <laughs> <laughs> Battle and Wonderworld's fucked up, man. Well. All right, there's Hyrule Wars. I haven't actually played this anymore since. Uh, Last time I streamed it, I haven't had time for it. I've been playing uh, WarioWare Gold in most of my free time lately. I'm trying to 100% complete that game. Hey, Biss, are you still there? Because I want to. I want to show you something in this game. Also, I have a funny thing about this game I wanted to mention, or related to this game. Now, this is a game I actually enjoy too, so there will be there will not be so much bafflement and complaining. <laughs> Why are you wear gold is very good. I like that. Also, okay, so let's. Oh, I gotta copy this and announce it to the server. Although I think everybody who's in the server who likes to watch my streams regularly is already here. <laughs> Let's go to the album. So, oh yeah, here's just a cute picture of me from the other day. <laughs> In Animal Crossing. Here's an accidental video clip. I, I take a lot of accidental video clips during Ring Fit because it's uh, capturing is uh, put on the, uh, the R button and it's really easy to bump it. <laughs> yeah, here we go. I came in first place in uh, Super Mario Bros. 35 again, finally. That you'd all like to see, maybe. Or at least I wanted to show y'all. Especially because I want to watch exactly what happened to the person who lost. Well, I think they ran out of time, is what happened, by the looks of it. <laughs> Ta-da! I won! Yeah, there I am. If you win, you get a ton more coins than uh, the people who didn't win. <laughs> And then these I posted on Twitter, but I'll share them here anyway. This was just Mario being very petty, although I'm the one who made him do it, so maybe I was really petty. <laughs> and then this was just extremely tense. Check out 
check this out. <laughs> I got through. <laughs> there you go. Oh yes, and then I wanted to share this character design from Ring Fit that maybe some people here might appreciate. <laughs> Ring fit's pretty fun. That's the the leg master. Yeah, so she she's got leg. <laughs> Her name is Allegra. <laughs> All right, here we go. I'm not exactly sure how far into this I am. Again, I haven't played it anymore since last time I streamed it. I'm gonna message Biss to make sure that they will come see the thing I want them to see. Hey Biss, I have something I want to show you in Hyrule Warriors. Are you there to Come see. There. <laughs> oh wait, I should use my amiibo. So that I have it. Let me back out. I got amiibo. Let's use it. This is from Princess Zelda. The Breath of the Wild Zelda amiibo. <laughs> wow, thanks Zelda. Thank you, Zelda. <laughs> oh, you're microwaving Lazaga. Well, let me know when you're done, Bess, and I will show you the thing. Because you weren't here last time I streamed this, and I wanted you to see it then. I don't think... I don't think I've left anything, like, undone that I could do. I think I still need to build up materials. Oh yeah, and then these were just really hard battles. I'm like 10 levels above what I need to be for those, and I still couldn't beat them. <laughs> Figure I'll just do those later. And I'm like assured the ability to do it. Yeah, I don't think I've left anything undone that I could do. Uh, so let's arbitrarily go for this. So yeah, the thing I wanted Biss to see is that you can play as the Great Fairies. <laughs> Which is just really incredible. Is this your strongest weapon, Link? Yes, it is. I think everything's set how it should be. Yeah. What should we cook? That sounds good. Oh yeah, well let's bring the great fairies then if you're here to see, Biss. It's my turn now. There you go, Biss. I've enjoyed playing as them because, well, to me they seem very powerful. Look at that! Look at that bit! <laughs> I forgot that that happened. Having witnessed images of the divine beasts under the control of Calamity Ganon, the party hurried to the champions, praying it was not too late. To the east of Hyrule, preparations to contend. Flying weapons platform flower. I'm so glad you get to see this, Biss. You, I was really disappointed you didn't get to see it last time. You're gonna love this, Biss. You play as all four of the great fairies simultaneously. They like swap places. Link and the others began to cut a path directly through the enemy ranks. <laughs> I 
Another funny thing about uh, the great fairies is that they like shrink when necessary to like fit through certain spaces. Oh my god, Biss, you must hate the idea of a horse fairy. No! I will not allow you to take her again! Sidon? Wasn't he a baby last time we saw him? What? And that was just like days ago. Are they coming from the past? Or, excuse me, the future? Are there time travel shenanigans here? So what button do I press to switch characters again? I forget. Oh, you just do this. Oops. All right, Bess, I'll show you the great fairies. I gotta remember the controls. Okay, I think I got it remembered. This is the problem that I haven't played it for a while. <laughs> All right, let me show you the special move, Bess. You deserve this. <laughs> I bet you like that. Oh, you can swap with the D-pad? I had no idea. Literally never done that. They move around like this. Just gonna... Leave. Let's uh, make sure Link is on his way there. You can never trust the NPCs. Did, well, I guess I can't order him there, so... Uh, let's just hope that he comes. <laughs> I can't wait for you to see all the things that this character does, bits. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta turn down the volume a little bit too. It looks a bit, it's a little bit loud. A little on the loud side. I mean, I'll try not to do anything too spectacular while you while you get your Lazaga bis. Bombard with bombs. It's time. Oh, she just punched it. I don't think I'd seen that one before. Great fairy punch out. Also, I've been going the wrong way, so let's turn around. Punch out featuring the great fairies. Wait, that's not. How do you. This way, okay. There we go. Skronk those. Bokoblins. Oh, yeah, so the thing I wanted to mention that was related to this game was on my Nintendo right now. You can order um, like a like an acrylic like print of artwork from this game, right? And they they refer to it as the iconic Hyrule Warriors Age of Age of Calamity uh, art. And it's like this game didn't come out that long ago. How is it already iconic?
Okay, so... What am I going for here? <laughs> also, it's a lot of points. It was like a thousand... Uh, my Nintendo, uh, like, silver points. Or platinum. What, whatever the... the Whatever the kind of metal they are. Well, I've gone too far in a few places. Oh, wait, no, I haven't. Or, ha wait. What's, what do you do? What do? Can't go pet. No? There you go. There you go. Now I figured out what I was doing. I like that move with the, the blowing a billion kisses. Blowing sparkles, I guess. More like. Boom. I like how just inexplicably this this whole like pool thing just moves, and that they all go in it at the same time. Damn, that was a move. Kissed to death. When she says that, it makes it just makes me think of uh, uh, Hades from Kid Icarus Uprising, where he'd go pity to refer to Pit. <laughs> Remember that? <laughs> it's the 35th anniversary of Kid Icarus this year, by the way. <laughs> well, I mean, specifically when she says the word pity, it's, it reminds me of how Hades says pity. To refer to pit. <laughs> That's all I'm talking about. So Metroid and Zelda and Kid Icarus are 35 years old this year. How much you want to, like, what do you suppose Nintendo is going to do for that anniversary? Because, um, well, we know what they did for Mario's anniversary, right? We know how that went down. Mario got the good stuff, obviously. Although it could have been better, obviously. Like, they, they kind of, they, they kind of didn't do as well as they could have with Mario, in my opinion. And then... Other people's opinions, too, I think. I mean, I like the stuff they did do, but I mean, like... Could have been more. But anyway, as an aside, th there was also the Fire Emblem th 35th anniversary, right? And all they did for that was release a limited-time NES port. <laughs> Such a pity. That was it. And they, well, and then there was the special edition that, like, sold out really fast, so I didn't get it. Like, I was kind of interested in the net, because I liked, not because I care about Fire Emblem, but because I like NES stuff. Um, but that apparently wasn't any good. Like, it was apparently, like, made of really cheap materials and stuff. People were complaining about how flimsy it was. So... That was all they did for Fire Emblem. Remember how last, how like last time there was a big anniversary for Metroid, Reggie wore like a like a Metroid pin, um, and then, like that was it. That was the extent. 
<laughs> like they thought, like, oh, it's the Metroid anniversary and Reggie's wearing a Metroid pin. That must mean that something Metroid's gonna happen. Uh, no. Like the the pin was was the anniversary acknowledgement. <laughs> I like, out of those three, like, I've started playing uh, the original Metroid with Cassie on uh, NES Online, and that's been fun. But Metroid is not a series that I really have, like, much of a connection with, because I just haven't really played it. It's not, not the kind of game that I usually play, basically. Um, so out of those three, the ones that I would really like to see them do something with is uh, Zelda and Kid Icarus. And of those two, Zelda is probably the most likely to actually see something. But, uh, like, the ideal, of course, that people talk about that they would that they would love, and I would love too, is if they put uh, Wind Waker and Twilight Princess and Skyward Sword in a collection together. I don't, I don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> like, <laughs> I, think, I think that's wishful thinking. Like, you know, the 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 remakes that were on the on the Wii U plus, you know, one for uh, Skyward Sword as well. I mean, Skyward Sword's been rumored for the Switch for a while, but it hasn't happened. Um, I guess for Metroid, you know, there's been that rumored uh, Metroid Prime trilogy forever. Is in like that's that's been like ages that that's been rumored for the Switch. So I like maybe that would happen, you know. I mean, motion controls are really good on the Switch, though. I, in fact, I like them better than on the Wii. Even pointer controls are better on the Switch. Like going directly from playing the Switch version of Mario Galaxy to playing, you know, the original Super Mario Galaxy 2. I definitely preferred the pointer controls on the Switch. Oops. Well, I guess this will work. Hi, Viss. Oh, what the heck was that? I've never seen that move. Yes. Punched him in the butt! A giant fairy just punched that Lionel in the butt. Only in this game can you see that happen. Oops, that's not what I wanted. I wanted this. Again, a little bit rusty. That was a failure of trying to dodge. Oops, I pressed the wrong button again. That one. There we go. That's what I wanted. Alright. Now we get this. Got it. Boom. You'd pick up a Lionel and snap it in half like a peanut, bits. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, Super Mario Party didn't uh, exactly allow different control methods, did it? 
There's plenty of Switch games that only require, or that require only a specific control scheme. Now that I think about it. Or at least parts of the games requiring specific control schemes, like, uh... Some of the games in Clubhouse games. Great fairies be like turns into undulating bud bisses. <laughs> Enter. She has her feet are a little weird. She's got one grody toenail on each foot. Water blight again, and I remember these things. Because they don't turn the camera to see who it was, because it could be anyone. You deserve this. Yeah, but would you have stopped playing at this part if you could have been a giant fairy and kissed it to death? This? Or whatever it is that they do in there? To it? What if I freeze it? That didn't do a single thing. I can't zap it. Zapping would probably be good. Sidon was not looking high up enough to make eye contact with the great fairy, but says... Punched it! Not as good as punching it in the butt, though, to be honest. Ooh, weak point attack. I just... I don't know how to feel about the fact that they couldn't help themselves from putting in the characters from the main game that shouldn't even be here at this point. They, like, they had to, like, make a time travel plot just so that they can put, like, Sidon and co in the game. I'm not I'm not sure I like that. <laughs> There we go. And watch this one, Biss. You'll like this. Well. Boom! <laughs> she goes flying. Oh, you couldn't really see it that well there, but she just blasts forward across the ground with that one. Well, it looks like we're going to beat this thing pretty handily. Oops. See if we can get a, get a better view at this this time. Boom! Look at that! <laughs> Sliding! <laughs> Boom! Oops. Bad timing on the dodging. There we go. Boom. Did she just say thanks, hun? Which hun was she thanking? Perhaps one of the other fairies? Oh, well, yep, that was pretty easy. 
that she said FaceTime? <laughs> yeah, they have that in Hyrule. Daruga? Daruga. Look at him. Why didn't Sidon? What are you doing? <laughs> I forget that blocking is even a thing. It's because I'm always trying to get the perfect dodges. So I can do the flurry rush. Sidon's pretty fun to play as. I mean, Mipha is my favorite to play as. Mipha is like overpowered. Sidon's not quite got that going for him. And Sidon shouldn't even be in this game. Stop it! Leave him alone! <laughs> I'm a little m miffed that he's even in this game, but... I thought maybe they had more self-restraint than that, but... But money... We will sell game better if it has character people remember. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. Be gone. All right, Igneo Talus time. Let's see what his special move is. Whoa. Not as good as Mipha's. But nobody else has when good as Mipha's. Why even give me the ride option when it's just gonna burn me? It even is his ZR move. I can't figure out how to use it. He just... He just kind of does nothing. It's like those moves in Smash Bros. where they just do a pose and nothing happens. Ouch. He just poses. Also, I know that those moves in Smash Bros. are, uh... Uh... Actually counters now, but I didn't used to. Much to Biss's chagrin. Wait, Sidon's about to die. Can I switch characters? Yes, I can. Link, you gotta come over here. Can't order Linky still. But she's not doing so well either. How about Link? How are you doing, Link? Link's got full health. What circle? What's. I've never seen a circle pop up in this game. thing.
I'm not falling for that ride prompt. Alright, here we go. Scrunk him up. Alright, we scrunked him. <laughs> there we go. Well, guess that's that. It's possible to enter Divine Beast. Rodania. Where are we supposed to go exactly? I just I just want I want to play as Meepa again. You know, that's that's kinda all I want in my life right now. She's so powerful. <laughs> Hey there, buddy. That's not what I wanted. Sure would be nice if there were more apples. Get the skrunk out of my way. Oh boy, that's a lot of bats. Well, I got some of them with that. There we go. Alright, let's get these guys. Alright, you have to be in the middle of a combo to hit X. Otherwise he tries to eat. Which, all right, just do. this is enough. Get out of here. I've had it with you, Lizalfos. Get out of here. Never had much luck with Urbosa, but Mifa is just. I just. I never lose. Mifa's. Well, well, there's a couple of ones that I lose with every character, but. Yeah, Mifa is just like. Those, those water moves, like, they just hit everything. She just doesn't stop hitting. And they hit big. A fire Lionel has appeared. That's just what I needed. Oh god, now I gotta fight this thing, huh? And there's all these bats. Okay, well the bats go easy. Stop it! Oh my god, nobody's gonna have any health! Wh who is... Oh, there's... Why are the Lizolfo so strong? They're just lizards. Get these lizards out of here! Go away! No more lizards! Good thing Arrow's not here. She would not be happy about that. Oh, we've got a follow bot. Let me get that. Whoops. I meant to ban them. Well, I'll ban them if they come back again. This ain't looking so good for me. This is a good... Hyrule Warriors is a good game to just play on free time as well. So I just like spend a lot of time 
I've spent a lot of, well not recently, but I've spent a lot of time playing it just like in bed at night. If I still ever went out of the house, it would be a thing that I would play when out of the house. <laughs> This switch is nice handheld. I went out of the house to uh, take a walk in the snow the other day when it was snowing, though. That was really nice. All the snow is gone now, though. Unfortunately, I wanted to take another walk in the snow, but I don't think there's going to be any more snow. <laughs> oh, phooey. Couldn't quite get out of that. But thanks for using so many moves that I can just outright block, buddy. Wow! Health! Did I level up or something? Must have level up. I think leveling up gives you all your health back. Oh, I see. Yeah, here, uh, some years we just don't get any snow at all. So, if we're lucky to, to have any. I'm still disappointed because, you know, I like having a lot of snow, but we almost never get a lot of snow, so... go. What do you mean hot spring? I saw somebody in the chat mentioning a hot spring before. We one time got like a big snowstorm on the first day of spring. That was back in, like, 2014. I have never seen a hot spring in this game. Is that just a thing on this level, or... Are those usually there, and I've missed them? I have only healed with apples, or... That's one of the reasons why I use Mipha, is because her special move, uh, heals. game stopped and pointed it out to me? I don't think it did, because I don't remember that. I remember Hot Springs and Kid Icarus Uprising. <laughs> Speaking of that game again. If that, if that wasn't in a cutscene, I probably didn't see it, because it's very difficult to pay attention to text while playing. It's just in the corner. And in fact, I have a friend who wasn't sure about this game because she didn't like uh, in previous Hyrule Warriors that it was hard to read the dialogue while also playing the game. And uh, I experienced that as well. In fact, she wanted to know if the dialogue during the game was voice acted or not, and I couldn't tell her because I didn't remember, and that should have been a clue that probably wasn't voice acted because I'm probably just usually not aware of the fact that there is dialogue on screen most of the time. It was in a cutscene, huh? Well... In that case, I may not have registered that that was a, like, that may have just been a cutscene thing. Whatever the case is, I didn't end up knowing that there were hot springs. <laughs> However that happened, it slipped past me.
Ouch. Ow! Hey! I was trying to do the thing. That's not the thing I was trying to do. Ah, ice is good. There we go. I think we might get him. Oh, nope. Still not quite there. I've still got ice, though. I'm gonna make use of it. Aha! I think we might pull this out here. There we go! That was good. <laughs> You wouldn't expect a Goron to like hot springs? You expect them to bathe in lava? This reminded me of something. There's some there's something with characters that bathe in lava. What am I thinking of? I mean, there's probably more than one thing that has that. Sell the weakest items. don't know what Torin's passage is exactly. Is that a place in a thing or is that the name of a thing? What if you sell what if you sold the master sword? Oh, you can't. <laughs> what if you could? <laughs> hey, Link. Remember that sword we went through all that trouble to get you? Yeah, where is it? Um... Sold it. <laughs> it's a game. Yeah, that's not it, because I've never heard of that. I think it was... I'm, I'm thinking maybe it was a cartoon. Where characters were bathing in lava. You know, wasn't it? I owe you some thanks too. Oh. Without your help, I, I know I've seen it somewhere. <laughs> Sidon, it's all so mysterious. Is it truly you, my brother? Yes, it is yours truly. <laughs> None of this makes any sense. But oh well, we have bigger rocks to roast. Princess, please tell us what happened at the castle. I'll tell you. Why is Sidon so much bigger than Mipha? With the aid of Sidon and Unobo, who Maybe she didn't get any food growing up? Mipha and Daruk emerged from the battle unscathed. Um... I think there's some sort of sexual dimorphism going on. The champions would only enjoy a brief respite. Upon discovering that Hyrule Castle had fallen into enemy hands, Mipha and Sidon headed to Akala Citadel. To aid the soldiers who were still holding the line. Meanwhile, Daruk and Unobo prepared to confront the incoming wave of guardians head on, <laughs> stepping once more into Varudanya. There's only a few cases in nature where sexual dimorphism is, like, significant. Like, you know, black widow spiders, for instance. Or, uh, anglerfish. <laughs> no! That's why you're the great girl. I told you to drop the formalities, Noble. Sorry, but I don't think I can. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> 
that laugh? Oh, okay. So we're doing this again now. Time for big battle. Oh yeah, I had a I had a dream about fossils last night. Hold on a second. I'll tell you about it when I can. When I'm not having to focus so hard. Boom. Boy, seeing this thing in just Hyrule Field is is a hell of a thing. I don't think this is exactly Hyrule Field, but you know what I mean. Just like, not in the lava zone. Just wrecking the place. What a thing this is. I'm not even using any motion aiming for this, by the way. It's like, I don't, like, you don't, you don't get a lot out of it. That makes sense. <laughs> not the world's greatest motion aiming. Oh, I see. I have targets I'm supposed to be going for. Well, let me just turn around and see if maybe I can perhaps wipe them all out in one go with the giant laser. Oh wow, I just blasted that hill. Oh, this, it gets blocked. I see. Okay, so that... oops, that was a bit of a waste. I don't know, I, for some reason I thought the laser could just go through stuff. <laughs> Runs eating fossils. <laughs> Remember that dream I had about the new species of whale that eats fossils? Remember when I told you about that? <laughs> I had another dream about animals that eat fossils last night, actually. Eating fossils was another aspect of my fossil dream I had last night. I don't know why this is the thing that I keep dreaming about. This time it was little uh, arthropod creatures. And they were eating fossils of their own species. Like they looked like it was fossils of like creatures that looked similar to they did. And they were eating them. <laughs> it's a prophecy. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Scrumbus time is here. More guardians have appeared. Let's take out the bridges. Like that one. Oh, nice of the bridge to clip through the uh, environment. Hey, Luigi. Guess these aren't really bridges, are they? Not a whole lot of use to the countering in this level. Trample them. They just stood there and take and took it. <laughs> Hope they made lots of Z fighting. <laughs> there we go. So yeah, in this dream, I I tweeted about it a little bit, um, I found, f there was, we were like at the beach, right, we were like on the, like the, the very like coastline, and, um, 
there was sort of like this area where there's like a bunch of rock and it kind of curved over itself. It's like almost like a cave, but like very like small, right? It, just imagine like rock that's like curved into like an arch. Um, and it's like the ocean is right there, like the shore. Like the waves are crashing. Um, and there's all these, there's a bunch of like fossilized like trilobites all along the ground. Um, and then there was these weird little creatures that had living uh, members. They were eating fossils of the extinct version of their species that were also there. Um, and then we look, there's this big fossil on the archway itself, right? And at first I think it's like just the jaw of like a Dunkleosteus, if you know what that is. That's one of the fossils on Animal Crossing, so you might recognize it from there if you've played Animal Crossing. Um, we thought it was one of those, but then we kept following it along the rock, and the jaw just kept going. And it was really long, and it had, like, sharp teeth, and it, like, curved around the archway. And then there was, like, another, like, fossilized fish that it was, like, going after. Um, and I was like, is this a new species? Has anybody seen this before? Um, but then there was, like, a label on it that was, like, named. <laughs> I don't remember what the name was, but it had some kind of name. I was trying to take a picture of it. Um. Your forces have destroyed the bridge. Good. All right. You know what? Let's just bring out the big laser. <laughs> just laze the place. Oh my god. Oh, look, a laser. Well, that took care of business, didn't it? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> there we go. They do put scars of war on the landscape abyss in Breath of the Wild, but I don't know if they like match up to this game particularly well. <laughs> Like the big, perfectly round hole that's punched out of one of the mountains. <laughs> Sight on. You know, Bo. Any more missions we can do? Yep. They sure give you a lot of time, don't they? That's not even the most. Yes, I can play as Mifa again. <laughs> That's all I wanted. I'm stronger than before. Um, then also at this beach, there was like a big, um, like museum thing, part of it outdoor that was just like animatronics that were like recreating uh prehistoric animals like dinosaurs and they had like a bunch of robot dinosaurs that looked really like lifelike that were like fighting each other because they had found the fossils like in a fight with each other or something like that and i wish that was real i want to go see that <laughs> flame breaker helm Fighting fire with... Want to fight fire with fire, huh? Egg. There was a thing kind of like that at the Oregon Zoo years ago where they had animatronic dinosaurs that were supposed to be, like, lifelike. And you'd walk through the forest and see the dinosaurs. I never got to go to that, though. I seem to have improved. 
They had mammoths there, and they had like prehistoric turtles. I shall handle the next tussle. And they had like a like a fish thing. And they'd put glowing red eyes on the mammoths for some reason. And there was like some really weird, like very round fish. And like <laughs> I wish this had been a real place I had gotten to rather than just a dream. <laughs> yeah, fossil eating returned. In one of my dreams. <laughs> the return of fossil eating. <laughs> Evil and messed up mammoths. I remember thinking they were like scary. There was like there was like eerie music they were playing in the museum, and then and then there was the the mammoths with glowing red eyes. It's like, they made this really scary for some reason. Like, why is why did they do that? Why did they make them cursed? <laughs> I think I actually did specifically refer to them as cursed in the dream. <laughs> I can only play as Yunobo. I've never played as him before. Well, let's give him some more EXP then, huh? Seems good. Let's -a go. Also, don't let me forget, I gotta make that Gordon Freeman meme after I'm done streaming this. I'm probably not gonna do a whole other uh, story mission just because uh, I'm about ready to be done streaming now. I've been streaming for four hours, so this level is probably gonna be the last one. You like the idea of setting up a museum for the express purpose of slandering the character of an extinct species? <laughs> Sounds yeah, it does sound like something you'd do, Biss. <laughs> I've come up with something that Biss would do, Chroma. Look at that little strut that he's got. Eat a rock to activate the power of protection. That is not a phrase I have ever read in a video game. Or elsewhere. Oh, eat a rock roast, I see. Well, still. Boom. Oh, you know, was pretty fun. I don't even remember him from Breath of the Wild, though. I gotta be, I gotta admit. I remember Sidon, and Mipha, and Daruk, and Urbosa. And I remember, well, I remember the bird guy. I don't remember his name. Oh, Rivali. Rivali's Gale is ready. I remember all those characters. I do not remember this guy. Sorry, Yunobo. If you'd asked me to t tell you what his name was before now, I couldn't have told you. <laughs> he looks like a frat kid, but an upper class one. Oh, I see. <laughs> oh, this is a defeat many enemies mission. I probably shouldn't have been spending so much time on one enemy. He does have a cool rocket lava punch, though. Gotta give that to him. And he's spin. Let's see what his special move is like. Where do these guys come from? What? Who are what? Ghost Gorons? They're specters of the future. They're like echoes from the future of, of, of future Gorons who come to to, to assist him. You're not going to like this. Oh, 
Oh my god. Holy guacamole. I kind of like Daruk a little bit better than this guy, though, because I like his rolling moves. The rolling moves are fun. He did the blue moblin. Ghost runs. <laughs> oh yeah, now I remember. I remember his mission where you just kind of you have to like save him. I barely remember this guy. <laughs> Special move time. Boy, that's a great camera angle for it. Oh, I can change it. <laughs> right, I can always move the camera. <laughs> Let's do it again. We're almost there. Just 50 more dudes gotta die. <laughs> One more. There we go. That was not too hard. There's something where you're leading him up the path to Vavrodania and the Guardians had spotlights. Yeah, I remember that now. You wish there was a Sonic Warriors game, but like made in 2005? Oh. <laughs> His weapon is, is Rock Roast. <laughs> it's funny. Zelda has the most boring weapon because it's just the 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 Wii U gamepad. <laughs> kind of club and kind of snack, Chroma says. <laughs> Wait, what, what was that? Something happened. Oh, there's another battle. Sidon's training. Now what's the time on it? Oh, it doesn't tell me. Uh, I don't exactly feel like doing that one right now. <laughs> I'm kind of pooped out from streaming. Balan Wonderworld especially was a little exhausting. <laughs> Usually I can go with this game for longer, but I feel like I got exhausted by Balan Wonderworld. <laughs> Plus Shanna's gonna go to sleep now. Yeah, Nido King, that is very good with uh, Zelda. I do. Zelda's another character I like playing with because that's a great bonus. Is uh, every attack counts as runes. <laughs> Oh, so yeah, there we go. Oh, stretching. Oh, goodness. Oh, well, this was a fun stream today. <laughs> Everybody seemed to have a good time. Oh, needs good uh, Half Life progress. Bell and Wonderworld demo was a thing. <laughs> and then Hyrule Warriors was good as usual. So, I think this is my biggest audience for Hyrule Warriors I've had so far. Had some people here who are interested in the game. So that's pretty good. <laughs> Thank you, everybody, who watched today. This was a lot of fun. <laughs> um, I'll be back on Sunday. I'm not sure what we will be doing. i got to discuss that with Biss. We'll figure out what we want to do. Um, then uh, Thursday will be... Well... Finally, we'll be just Half-Life 2 and Hyrule Warriors <laughs> again. No Battle and Wonderworld demo next week. 
Um, and yeah, there's more stuff upcoming in the coming month. And uh, as usual, if I can get Cassie, um, we're going to do Overcooked 2 again, finally. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to do the, the Lambda Man. <laughs> the Lambda Male. <laughs> okay, everybody. Bye-bye.